Yep. So here's the thing. Um, I want to talk about one other thing that they talked about last night, and it really pissed me off. No, because nobody got it right about the striking workers in Detroit. And I know we have a new station in Detroit. Just hang on for a second. I don't know if I'm going to make friends or enemies, but just <laughs> hear me out. I have no sympathy for the auto uh, makers, the manufacturers. Why? Because they got into bed with the federal government in 08 with the bailout. And they knew that they were never going to be able to extract themselves from it. And they had to dump things like uh, the hydrogen car, which was way down the road. It was much more well-defined. There were already service stations. Shell was about to transform all of their service stations and carry hydrogen. But because... Oh, the green, you know, the green lovers and Barack Obama, and he wanted an electric. Why would you want an electric when you can make the energy here in America hydrogen 100 percent clean? Why would you want to go to a battery that has all kinds of problems, environmentally speaking, and you don't have the stuff to make them here in America? Why would you do that? Well, they got into bed. Uh, congratulations, Chevy. You can start more fires than all of the Boy Scouts in America can ever start. So I have no sympathy for them. I have no sympathy for the United Auto Workers Union. Those guys went in deep for Joe Biden. Now, they held out for a while because they didn't like his policies on green, but they eventually gave all their money and all their support to Joe Biden. And what did they get? What did they get? Well, they got a hammer to the head for all of the workers. But believe you me, there is a reason why these auto worker unions are doing this, because we're going into a global economy where we will unionize all countries all across the world. And guess who will get that extra uh, income? The United Auto Workers and all the other unions. Why do you think... Uh, Randy Weingarten was over in in Ukraine because they're going to have United Teachers Foundations over in Ukraine. That's how these unions are going to win. How could they possibly win when they are screwing their endorsement is screwing the auto workers, the auto workers? You know why they want so much money and they want now a four day work week and everything else? Because they know their jobs are gone. They know it doesn't take that many people that can be done here in America to make an automobile if it's all electric. It takes fewer workers to do it. And a lot of it, the batteries and everything else, not going to be made here. They'll be made here like, you know, like American Giant makes clothes here. Okay, well, yeah, there's one company that you can, but that's not 98% of the product coming from America. That's 1% of the product coming from America. And they know it. And they know it. But what does Joe Biden do? Now, remember, we bailed out the auto industry in 08. That's what got him into bed. Now, to get them, Ford has lost $2 billion this year alone. All because of the EV. So what does Joe Biden say? Joe Biden goes and says, they need this pay raise. Well, I'm all for pay raises. I'm for pay raises because everybody's losing money because of inflation. But what causes inflation? Inflation is caused by the government just printing more money. So what are they doing? They are printing money so they can give the money to the big, you know, Ford and Chrysler and everybody else, they can give these big bailouts to them and they're subsidizing every car. If it's the car they want, they're subsidizing every car. So that's what's causing your inflation. Just, I mean, just that alone is enough damage, but they're doing that on everything, everything. So I'm for them getting raises. I'm for them having a good life, just like I'm for everybody having good health care and everything else. 
But Joe Biden comes and says, yeah, you deserve that particular raise you're asking for, which is what? A hundred. It works out to like one hundred and thirty five dollars an hour, something like that. The most expensive auto build is sixty or sixty five dollars an hour. China is practically slave labor. Now, I'm not suggesting that, you know, we do slave labor and I'm not suggesting that we don't do seventy dollars an hour. It's expensive to live here in America. I get it. But you want to put the big three auto workers out of business? You start paying your auto workers $135 an hour, which Joe Biden is for. They'll have money, but the money that it will cost the average person to buy the car, how much more will that add to the price tag? So you won't buy American cars because they'll be too expensive in America. And so what will the government do? The government will make new incentives and print more money and try to offset that cost so you'll buy American. You ne- you're in the death cycle. You're in the death cycle right now. Why will no one say this in a debate? Why will no one actually talk about inflation? And what is causing inflation? The price of your food is not going up. Okay? You have to understand this. The price of your food is not going up. The value of your dollar is going down. That's what's happening. Well, these people are getting rich off the backs of the American people. No! It takes more dollars to buy the same thing. It's inflation. Everything the government is doing right now is destroying our economy, destroying our dollar, destroying your ability to keep your head above water. And that is all Biden and this worthless bunch of economic geniuses who are doing things under different names that have always failed, always failed. Would have liked to hear that last night. Would have liked to hear that instead of the placating of the unions and the placating of and then just blaming. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it.